All right, boys and girls, we are going to be learning how to watercolor paint. Your supply list is a watercolor set, a brush, a container of water, a crayon, a wash rag, or paper towel. Okay, let's learn together. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to be doing a simple watercolor painting together and you need to start this lesson with a crayon, any color, a watercolor set. You may have received one from school or maybe you have one of your own. Watercolor set, a container of water, careful, a rag, or a piece of paper towel or napkin. Now, we are going to set up a simple drawing here of a set of mittens, okay? You may use one hand if you'd prefer just to make one mitten or two, one mitten. So I'm going to turn my paper, actually, here we go. Now a mitten goes over all the fingers in one shape and over the thumb. You can trace it or you can just eyeball it. Right now I think I'm going to trace mine. I don't think I'll stop there. Oh, cute. And after I've traced around my fingers, I'm going to end the mitten at the bottom. Maybe I'll add another shape, like a little rectangle, where it fits a little snug. Now winter's coming, boys and girls, or winter is here. I think within this mitten, I might draw a few of those lines that we've learned about. Straight lines, scallop lines that look like a wave, zigzag lines. maybe even a shape inside. In this one, I'm going to draw the big bouncy M shape at the top. And at the bottom, I'm going to make a V. Or maybe you'd like to do a little simple fish or a face. Maybe I'll put a cute little face inside of my mitten. There we go. Now, I think I might add some lines that are running vertically, not horizontally. This is horizontal, this is vertical. Now around my mitten, I'd like to put a few little snow droplets, maybe some little X's, because this almost looks like rain or hail. This doesn't quite look like snow, Maybe I'll add another X inside. Oh, there we go, another X. And I've got some snowflakes, some droplets of snow or rain. And also during the winter, there is sun. Maybe I'll add the sun here or put a few more snowflakes here. Now, to make this even a more interesting painting, I'll write my name, Miss Kroll, at the bottom, so I could see it right on the painting. I might add my little arm, just the edge of my sleeve, like the edge of my sleeve, and then my mitten is over it. And inside here, I might just do a couple little soft waving lines. It'll be fun to paint these little lines. All right. Snow, rain, snowflakes, and our mitten. I think we're ready to paint.
little bristles at the end. You can see these bristles. You have to be careful with them, remember? They're very, very, very little and thin and fine, and you have to be careful not to mash them. This brush is bigger, and you can see it holds a lot of water. All those little bristles soak up the water, and it holds it inside. It's really neat. Those brushes are really nice. Be careful with the edge and the bristles, like the little hairs. You never mash them or hit them down. You always want to be careful. This watercolor set isn't wet yet. It's dry. And today, I'd like us to start with our yellows and our lightest color. So I'm going to take a little water and I'm going to drip it into yellow. Pick it up, drip it into yellow, drip it into yellow. And I might get my orange wet too because the water will wet the paint. And once it gets wet, it softens the paint. And then with your brush, you just sort of tickle the paint. It starts to pick it up into the bristles. And then you carry it over. And I think I'm going to make my heart yellow. And I'm carefully moving my bristles and my brush around so that I am not ruining my brush. It's actually, they're really fine and they're really expensive. Oh boy, brushes can be very expensive. And I'm picking it up and I'm moving it over. I'm not putting too much water in the brush. Now, boys and girls, this heart is already filled in. Don't go over the same spot over and over and over and over and over. The water will make the paper weak and then the paper will rip. So I need to find a new spot. I think I'd like to put a little yellow here. And a little yellow here. Look at I'm making a pattern. And a little yellow here. Now I'm going to wash my brush. I don't want to go into a new color. So I'm going to put it in the water and move this over and swish it around in my water and wipe it out. Begin with another color. So what I'm going to do is I'd really actually like you to use a little orange now because it's a little bit shade darker than yellow. And I'm going to go into a light orange because I have a light orange. So I wet the color and then I carefully, they say tickle the paint with your brush. And I'm going to pick it up. And I think I'm going to make my sleeve orange. I'm going to go back into the light orange and maybe I'll put a little light orange right here. Back into the light orange. Find another spot. Carefully moving back and forth. You can see I had dropped water on my paper and that's very weak paper. I have to be careful not to rip it. So now I'm going to wash my brush. I'll go back into the water. Swish, swish, swish. Turn it around. Wipe the edge. Don't bang the brush. If you bang the brush, water will splatter and speckle everything and make a mess of all your colors. So we'd like to carefully wipe our brushes off. All right, next color. I'm going to pick up the brush, wipe it off. You choose which other color you'd like to use. I think I'm going to go into maybe a little red because I have all these nice warm colors. I'm going to wet the color. And then I'm going to move my brush around and tickle the water on the paint. And I'm going to paint my next section in. I think I'm going to do this one. Right here I left a few spaces open because I'm going to use different colors there. And I'm going to wash my brush again. Wipe the edges off and pick another color. I think I'm going to go with this beautiful purple. Wet it and carefully move the brush back and forth. Tickle the paint. Lift it up. And I'm going to do this section. Oh, that's pretty. Now it's very light again. If you want it to be a deeper color, go back into your paint set. I'm going to wash the brush, wipe it off, wet a new color. I'm going to use this blue. I want to 
wet the blue and I think I want to wet the green. So I'm going to pick up the water and drip it in so it gets soft. Here I am, I'm going to tickle the paint a little bit and move it over. Oh, I like that color. And wet this one and here we go. All right, I'm going to wash my brush out before I go into green. Wet the green carefully, not breaking the bristles on my brush. Tickle the paint. And I'm going to go around this happy little heart. And here I'm going to try something different. I'm going to move it into another color. So I added a little green. And now I'm going to wash my brush. And I'm going to go in a light green. So I'm adding more water, making it nice and wet. I can move it around. And then I'm going to move into my light green. So I went from dark green to light green. And do you see how I'm touching it? Oh, this part is dry. So I think I'd like to add another color inside the eyes. It's pretty dry. So I'm going to wash my brush, pick a nice color for the eyes. I think I'm going to do two little blue eyes. One, two. There we go. Wash my brush. Now I have all this wonderful snow. So I think I might make my snow light blue. Let's see. Mm, yeah, that's nice. Maybe I'll first paint around the snow. But I think I'm going to try something. Let's see. Hmm, if I wet this paper like that, and then I pick up a little bit of blue, it'll soak into the wetness. Do you see it moving around? It moves in the wet paint. It's a little dangerous because you can rip your paper if you're not careful. Let's try that again. And you can see it sort of softly moves. Going to wet my paper a little bit. Pick up the little blue, make some dots. Do you see how it moves? Sometimes it'll move if it's very wet. Sometimes it will not move very well. Just depends on how wet your paper is. And you don't want to wet it too much because it will rip your paper. If you're not careful. Oh, here you can see it's wet because the paint moves around. Let's try it over here. Wet the paper a little bit, pick up your brush, and touch, 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 touch a little bit. Okay, now boys and girls, we are going to finish this half. And right here, I'm going to add water and little driplets of paint. Let me try a darker purple. Oh, wasn't wet enough. Here we go. And you can see when watercolor paints are added to wet paper, it moves in a different way onto the paper brisk, onto the paper. It's kind of softer. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush. All right, I think we just should finish up our work now. I'm adding some different colors within my snow and working once again with the blues and purples for a wintry feel and i'll end with some wet paper and putting wet paint on top of it so you learned really two techniques painting with dry paper and learning how to create wet on wet watercolor painting. And with wet on wet, the color moves around and it flows really softly. You just have to remember not 
to rip your paper and get it way too wet. 